Hey YouTube, Happy New Year! It's January 1st, it's already 2020, leaving 2019 behind. And to kick things off for the first vlog for 2020, what I want to do is I want to give you guys a home studio tour. So I have two studios. One is dedicated really for collaboration since it's a much bigger space. This one over here is where I shoot a lot of videos. It's actually a second room inside my living area or in my condo unit where I shoot. So this is actually located in the actual space where I live. So what I'll do first is I'll clean it up because that's what you should do every new year. Clean up your space so that you enter the new year, you know, with uh, a clean and organized workspace. So just so you know how bad it is, I'll give you a quick tour of the before and then I'll show you the after. Now during the videos, you probably see it from this angle, which is kind of clean because you just see the Funko Pops and some sneakers here on the left side and maybe the gauntlets. But here is the big reveal. This is how incredibly messy the room is. Are you ready? One, two, three. Ba -ba. <laughs> Take a look at how messy this room is. I mean, wow. Even the desk is just, wow. There's no space. I mean, for me to actually edit videos, it means moving so much stuff. And I'm kind of worried already that there's something alive buried uh, in all of those things. So yeah, so this is what I have to work with. It's an incredible mess. I uh, will clean it up and then I'll see you guys back when it is, well, tidy. Guys, update. It's been probably like two hours since I started working on the room. I'm a bit sweaty. Apologies for that. But man, this is so difficult. I just realized I have so many shoes scattered all over the place. So many toys that are kind of pricey that are just all over the place. Gadgets as well. So I think this will literally take up the entire afternoon. So just a progress update. We cleaned some space, but it's still really hella messy. Hopefully we get to clean everything out in the next hour or so. So we can still do an unboxing for this vlog. So after almost three hours of trying to tidy up this room, we've made progress. So what I'll do now is I'll show you what the current home studio looks like, and then we'll do a quick unboxing, and then I'll probably bring you guys along for a quick road trip because I plan on visiting a street art that was done by one of my favorite local artists, Quicks. So with that said, let's take a quick tour at the reorganized cleaner home studio so let's start with the main background that i use for my vlogs that's the area that you guys see over here uh, as you can see i changed some of the things the sneakers are still there on both columns of course we put the christmas gift of the wife the balenciaga, balenciaga over there the balenciaga track 2 if you haven't seen my review yet on that one i'll put the link down below so you can watch it now i'll go closer so we can take a closer look at some of the stuff that's on display at the background so i mentioned to you guys my favorite local artist is quicks so this is some of his work uh they're really nice i mean they're also they're filipino inspired which made it so much easier to pick them up i'll do a more comprehensive vlog on the pieces that i have i have a couple more uh in the youtube studio downstairs but for now uh this is part of the collection we also have some of the unique low snoopy cost release that came out white one black one cookie monster over here a small murikami flower uh i still have no idea what i'll put here so i still i for now i put in my naruto coach uh, michael jordan clutch bag and a jordan 3 small shoe that i bought a few months back now most of my favorite sneakers can be found in this cabinet area over here we have all of my off-white uh, air force ones a couple more of off-whites you have the sakai's over there Currently, my favorite Air Force One that I've been abusing a lot, which is the Paranois G-Dragon. We have a couple of Off-White Prestos. Uh, we have the Pradas, the Louis Vuittons. Uh, yeah, we have all the other expensive sneakers in this cabinet over here. Now, if you move to this area, this is where my uh, Funko Pop collection is at, which is primarily Dragon Ball. And this is also where I put two uh, of my Infinity Gauntlets, which you can see one over here, life-size. Another one over here, the limited edition Chume Majin Vegeta, the limited edition uh, Naruto statue over there, and some, of course, of the more expensive grail pieces of Dragon Ball Funko Pop, including two of the Planet Arlia 
uh, Vegetas. Uh, this one I got without a box, and uh, but hey, it's still it, it's still one of the rarest pieces. So I still decided to pick one up. Uh, we have a couple of signed pieces over here. I still have a few uh, missing chase pieces, so I'll be gunning after them in the coming months ahead. Now over here by the window to the side, we have a lot of Yeezys. So the remaining Yeezys in my collection, which is mostly composed of 700s, uh, 500s, the only 350 Boost V2 uh, that I still wear a lot and I still love is this one, which is the Oxford Tan. I did a quick discussion on this one in my top sneakers of 2019 video. If you guys haven't seen that yet, link can be found down below. One of my favorite 700s, mainly because it's not available in the Philippines. This is the Yeezy 700 Magnet, so yeah. Those are some of the Yeezys and the sneakers on this side of the wall. We also have a couple of Ultra Boosts down there. The Star Wars, Nice Kicks, 19s. And yeah, uh, more sneakers over there. The Adidas, the complete Adidas Dragon Ball collection. Now, one thing I changed is that I turned this into a semi-toy cabinet. So some of the figures that I have from Dragon Ball are here. Then it becomes shoes for the last two rows. So we have that going here as well. So we have Broly, uh, there you go. We have Vegeta and Goku. One of my favorite pieces is this uh, Goku and then Vegeta Ape. Goku trying to summon the Spirit Ball. We have the two Thanos figures that I used to have at the background. More sneakers here at the top of the shelf including the custom Air Force One that was done for me by uh, Paolo Tomenes, the Ukay Ukay King of the Philippines. These plastic cabinets still contain mostly uh, New Balance sneakers except for two Jordan 3s, uh, two of my latest pickups which include uh, the Animal Instinct sneaker uh, which I'll put a link down below. Kind of looks like the Atmos uh, Air Max from the past. Uh, and we have this all black Jordan 3 Tinker Hatfield I'll probably wear for the day. All the formal shoes and cold hands can be found on this part of the room. We have my backpack as well as my Tumi case, which I'll be bringing with me to Las Vegas. That's why it's already there. We have the table, which is still messy, work in progress, but it's much tidier than before. We have my Sony RX Mark 107 over here. We have two of the phones charging, laptop, notebook, and a bunch more of gear. And yeah, that's it. Oh, my favorite current bag is this quick tactical messenger bag. Uh, only issue with it is the zipper quality, but everything else looks really nice. So two thumbs up for this one. Hey guys, so we're here along Katipunan. We're on our way. I'm with the wifey. Hi, can I Happy New Year. So we're on our way to the Quicks uh, mural somewhere along this road. I think it's near UP. So we'll just check it out. I'll take a few clips and then we'll probably have dinner then we'll go home and i'll do the unboxing for you all and then we'll close the vlog there okay so let's keep going so we're here at the art installation i don't have a mic so it, the audio is probably bad but yeah i just want to show you guys it's kind of hard to get to so if you're going here by car talaga you'll just have to kapalan yun nalang mukha ninyo para magpars sa side ng the side ng road pero sobrang hirap pala siya puntaan so, but anyway this is it so now we'll go back to the house and yeah do a quick unboxing As you guys can see we're back here in the studio our home studio home condo which is a little bit more organized and cleaner thanks to our new year spring cleaning that we, we did earlier this afternoon so like what i mentioned uh, i want to do a quick unboxing for you guys before we end this vlog and i have with me here another yes another ultra boost 20. now this one i was able to get thanks to the double point system of Adidas. So that's a three stripes club here in the Philippines. So what be, what happens is if you buy something, you get like a cash rebate that you can use later on to buy other items from the same store. So they did double points. Usually you get like 10% because it was double points, you get like 20% off. So it's literally like buying uh, the Ultra Boost 20 
a 20% off from Adidas. So that's the reason why I picked this one up. So if we take a look at it, it's your typical black box from Adidas. I did go half size up, so it is 12.5. Adidas Ultra Boost 20, and this one is an all blue. Oh, it looks really nice colorway. Ba bam! Take a look at that shoe. I mean, seriously, that is sick. I love the gradient color here for the midsole. Take a look at the pattern of the knit upper, uh, the reinforced fiber edges over here. The cage is a little bit bigger and nicer. I love the heel area over here. That nice pop of orange at the back. The logo of the International Space Station here, the tongue tab. Man, this is a really nice looking sneaker. So this one I was able to get for 9500 Then I got a cash back or a rebate of, uh, I think, around... Well, we, well, well, yeah, 20%. Just make the computation for that one. So the next time I buy something from Adidas, I can use those vouchers to get all, almost 20% off. So if you don't know how the Three Stripes Club works, uh, just make sure to ask uh, Adidas stores how to apply or how to join because you also get like a big discount during your birthday month. So it is such an awesome like loyalty program to be part of. So anyway, uh, that's actually it. Uh, that I just wanted to do a quick unboxing for you all. Uh, and this is literally our first unboxing for 2020. Now tomorrow, I'll be back again at it. I'll be doing uh, a reaction to the new Yeezys because I just literally saw an article right now uh, as I was settling down about to shoot this. Uh, showing all of the different new Yeezys lined up for 2020. And I want to react to that and respond to that and give my thoughts on that particular lineup. Uh, and maybe if you guys want to join in, then make sure that you watch the video tomorrow. As always, it will be up 7 p.m. on the channel. Guys, Happy New Year. Peace. God bless. What's up? Boom. <laughs>